he was very influential to uh, other Latinos because there were very few that ascended in command like he did. As we reach the end of Hispanic Heritage Month, we are celebrating the accomplishments of General Richard Cavazos, the first Hispanic four-star general. Nearly five years after his death, the Department of Defense has now announced plans to rename Fort Hood near Colleen after Cavazos. The Army Post was originally named after Confederate General John Bell Hood. Chris X News anchor Taylor Alanis was in Kingsville today to talk to folks about their hometown hero. If you've been through Kingsville, you've seen General Cavazos Boulevard. Well, now General Richard Cavazos' name and his legacy will reach even further, replacing the name of the U.S.'s largest active military installation, Fort Hood. He had a great sense of humor. Uh, but, but very soft-spoken, believe it or not, as a commanding general. A commanding general from humble beginnings on King Ranch. Dick was a, a long family friend for many years, having grown up here during the Depression. Richard Cavazos was born on January 31st, 1929, the son of Laro Cavazos, the livestock manager at King Ranch. His mother, Tomasa, winning the fight for her children to attend Flauto Elementary, a segregated school in Kingsville at the time. His brother, Laro Jr., eventually becoming the U.S. Secretary of Education. While serving in Korea in 1953, Cavazos was assigned to an all-Hispanic unit and successfully led his company into enemy lines three times. He was decorated for valor because he believed that you had to lead from the front. In 1982, he was promoted to four-star general and was appointed commander of the U.S. Armed Forces Command. I think it's great. I, I believe that well, we serve our country just like everybody else, other, you know, minority groups, and uh, we're proud of what we did. A major roadway in his hometown, an exhibit at the Connor Museum at Texas A&M Kingsville. Cavazos died five years ago but his legacy continues to live on. There couldn't have a better example than Dick Cavazos. And soon, Fort Hood will carry his name. General Cavazos was an um, amazing soldier, and uh, I think there's no greater honor than to have Fort Hood be renamed after General Cavazos, because he's a great South Texan, a great American. As far as when we will see General Cavazos' name on the military institution, federal officials have until January 1st, 2024 to make that transition. In Kingsville, Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News.